welcome back to the channel. Today I have probably my favourite unboxing ever. So I recently purchased the Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Reverse Mocha and here they are. So I purchased these off eBay because I just wanted to try them and the price was pretty good. So we'll see how eBay did and we'll unbox these and I'll give a review of them I guess. So I'll use my trusty yellow scissors and we'll unbox these. I will say they came incredibly quick. From the seller shipping them to them arriving at my door, it took four days total, which is incredibly fast. So it says on the box, meet your soulmates, and then obviously has the eBay branding on the back. And then this is how they came packaged. So really nicely done. Box looks undamaged to me. We'll open it up and see what they're like. So here is the Nike Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's in the reverse mocha colorway, and this is the box. I'm a little bit annoyed that they've got like cellar tape on the box because I can't really take that off without damaging it. But other than that, can't really complain. The box seems in pretty good condition. So I got these in my True to Size UK 9, just like all my other Nike shoes, and I can't wait to unbox these. This is probably my favorite shoe of the year, and probably my favorite Travis Nike collaboration ever. I love this shoe. So we'll open up the box, it has the eBay authenticity guaranteed, and then we have the Travis Scott pink paper on the top, and then the white paper below, open them up, and here is the Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott reverse marker. This shoe is gorgeous. So I do also have a fake pair of these which have already arrived so I am filming the comparison for that very soon so stay tuned for that. So if you'd like to see the differences between a real pair of these and a fake pair of these subscribe to the channel because I'll have that comparison coming for you very soon. On the left shoe here it does come with the eBay authentication tag on the side and I'm actually really impressed with their delivery. They came so quickly and the shoes are amazing. So this is the Nike Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low in the reverse mocha and is probably the most in-demand shoe at the moment. So I managed to pick up two pairs of these. I got one for retail and then this is the resale one. Just wanted to double up on them and I wanted to film the whole unboxing for you. And this pair is just so, so nice. So I'll give you a close up of some of the details. So like on most Travis Scott collaborations, we have that reverse swoosh on the outer side in a creamy leather material. And I think that looks absolutely incredible. Then underneath that you have a brown suede or a nubuck material, which is very high quality in my opinion. And then on the back, the Jordan Wing logo is embroidered in a red stitching, which looks incredibly nice. And it stands out a lot on the white leather below. So the shoes themselves come with this almost cream-like laces already pre-laced in them, but they do actually give you options with the spare ones. So they come with a mocha colored lace as well, which I actually think looks really nice because it has that brown tongue, so it kind of blends in perfectly. And I think I'll be doing one color in the brown and then keeping one in the cream. So a little bit of variety between the two laces. Then it also comes with that red laces which matches the outer side stitching of the Cactus logo on the back as well as the Air Jordan Wings logo on the right shoe. And lastly, they actually do come with an off-white kind of colored laces which matches that leather on the upper as well. So they do give you a variety of options with this shoe, but you can customize them your own way and make them look a little bit different from everybody else. Then on the inside here on the brown Nubuck suede, you can see it has the Cactus Jack logo print on it as well. They seem to add this subtly into all of their silhouettes and I think it just looks really nice in that red color once again, matching the embroidered on the back of the shoe. As you know from the first Travis Scott Jordan 1s, Travis is a big fan of brown and pretty much this shoe fits my color aesthetic perfectly and pretty much goes with the hoodie I'm wearing right now. So the brown upper, which is a suede like material, oh, it just feels so good on the toe box and looks incredibly nice. And the tones that he's used on this with the cream, whites and browns and then that hint of red on the back just look amazing. The sole of the shoe, they've gone for a brown, which I think is the correct decision because if you're gonna wear this daily, the shoe's gonna get dirty and having a brown tread on the bottom just hides this dirt a little bit more than what a white or a cream sole would. So I'm a big fan of what they've done here. Looking again at the outer side and the backward swoosh, I really like how it's a different color to the rest of the other panels. So that cream swoosh on the side also gives you the opportunity to match with the cream laces that are pre-laced, and also it stands out a lot more than it would if it was that white paneled leather that's seen on the rest 
of the parts of the shoe. So I'm not sure how easy it is going to be to see, but on the inside of the shoe, it does actually say Travis Scott on this one. And then on the left shoe, it does actually have the Cactus Jack logo on the inside as well as the Jordan logo as well. In my opinion, this is the best Travis Scott and Nike collaboration they've ever done. The colors they've chosen is pretty much exactly how I would have chosen it. This is my color scheme to a T. And the fact that it's a Jordan 1 low is a big plus point for me. If it had been a dunk, sometimes dunks are a little bit too chunky for me and I actually prefer the silhouette of a Jordan 1 low. It just fits a lot slimmer from the upper and I think it just looks incredibly nice in shorts, trousers, anything you want to wear. The Jordan 1 low is a great shoe to go for. I do hope they bring out a high version of this in the reverse colorway. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but if they do, I'll probably be purchasing that as well. But for now, Jordan 1 low, Travis Scott, reverse mocker is my favorite shoe of the year if not ever. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. Did you manage to pick out for retail or are you paying the high resale price? I expect if you're gonna hold these, the price will go up because this shoe, oh, I honestly can't really say what words I have for this shoe. I like it that much and it's not because of the hype. Personally, I just love the colors that they've used and I would pick this one over the fragments and the original mockers. Let me know if you would, this shoe is amazing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you're picking up this pair, it's a great decision because this shoe is amazing.